going to participate in another art activity. It seems like when 2016 starts, everybody starts all these new projects and I get so inspired. I don't know how many of them I'll keep up with. I'll keep up with as many as I can. Right now, I've started Shannon Green's in mass collection journal you'll see me working on that i've got some ideas i want to get started i have started participating in cat hands mixed media morsels i know gina aarons has a project coming up that i'm not going to be able to resist i haven't started it yet but it's there this project is a fairly simple one that I think that I can keep up with. It's from Giselle Grenier. Giselle Grenier is a, an artist from Canada. Oh my goodness. I've been following her for at least three years, if not four now, and I just really enjoy her thought process. She has a project called, do you have, well, I'm titling it. This is how she started it. Do you have a mason jar? Well, yes, I have a mason jar right here. <laughs> I think this held dried cherries or cherry pie filling from Door County, Wisconsin. I ate the cherries. I think they went into a cherry pie. But I could not throw the mason jar away, so I washed it. And it's been sitting in my shelf for quite a while. I don't can. Maybe someday I'll learn how to can. But that's beside the point. I went and got the mason jar. So here's what she's up to. You need a mason jar, an empty clean one, <laughs> and a pad of pretty paper. Now this is a paper pad that I got at Michael's. Sometimes you see these on sale. They usually run about $6, but sometimes you see them on sale for 50% off or a certain percentage off. You can use your coupon. I've had this one for quite a while. It's been sitting in my stash. I haven't been using it. What I like about it is I like both types of paper where there's pattern on both sides, but I also like paper that's blank on one side so I can do my own artwork without completely destroying the pattern and have the pattern paper on the back. And so I chose this pad of paper. I'll, I'll put a link to Giselle's YouTube channel and to her Art CA Place on Facebook and then as you search for the groups and get to know her you can join or not join but this this project is a part of the VIP art club membership <laughs> Facebook group that Giselle Grenier is hosting so I'm not going to show you what's inside here because these are prompts that she gives. She's been giving them on a, a fairly regular basis. She's just started it. I've got three of them. And all that you do is take your pad of pretty paper, write the prompt on the back of your pretty paper, and drop it in the jar. And then if you get bored or uninspired, pull out the prompt and work on it. Well, I'm very seldom bored with art. My problem is not boredom. My problem is keeping up <laughs> with all these wonderful things. So do you have a mason jar? Yes, I have a mason jar. Write your prompt on a piece of pretty paper. Drop them in the mason jar. Now, I think I'll get a piece of lace and put on here. Now, as I was writing this, I identified those as coming from Giselle's VIP Facebook group but I thought of my own <laughs> and so I may write my own prompt and to give you an idea of what I'm putting in here I'm going to write my own prompt I'm just going to put Mary prompt and I'm going to put the Mary Atelier and you can use this prompt if you want anything that you see Mary prompt in my video feel free to to use it I just don't feel comfortable giving away all Giselle, Giselle's prompts. But my prompt is to, you know that I do my arcades. 
So I'm going to, my prompt is to write the word, and this is a slang word, it's, um, I'm going to use a K, crackalacken. I'll come back to that. Write the word crackalacken on an arcad. And do artwork on it. Okay. The word crackalacken, really, I, that word that I first heard it was from Dee Dee Williamson um, on her Ustream, and I'll put a, a link to Dee Dee's Ustream and her blog. I think it's like Coffee and the Art in the Morning or something like that. I don't have the exact title of it, of Dee Dee's Ustream, right on the tip of my tongue, but I'll look it up and I'll put a link to Dee Dee's Ustream, and she puts her Ustream videos on her YouTube channel. And I really like that because I don't always have time to watch an entire Ustream, which usually lasts from like one to two hours. But I can always go back and watch her videos. And I really like Dee Dee's art. And I like Giselle's art. So there's my prompt. And every now and then when I'm writing out prompts that I get from Giselle, I'll, I'll probably add one of my own because... What can I say? I get inspired. <laughs> so I'm just going to fold it up. And I'm going to drop it into the mason jar. So I've got four prompts in here. I'm going to put the lid on. And I'll probably put a piece of ribbon around here right now. Right now it's just a plain mason jar. I might decorate this up. And right now I'm very busy with all my art projects and finishing out 2015. But when I get into maybe March or April, when I'm looking for something to do, I might pull a prompt out of here and work on it. And I don't know if it will be mine or Giselle's or whose it will be, but this is going to be my mason jar prompt jar. Thank you, Giselle. I think it's a great idea. I can't wait to do some things in here right now. I just can't wait to fill it up with all sorts of good inspirational ideas. I'm going to keep the mason jar on the pad of paper. Put my extra little strips of paper in there. Keep it there. Reach for it when, when I need inspiration. How fun this is. I'm looking forward to 2016. I'm not going to get bored. I'm just going to try to keep up. <laughs> I will see you on the next page.